some astonishing properties of Egyptian blue. The pigment boosts energy efficiency and also emits infrared radiation when exposed to certain kinds of light. We also find this on ancient statues of ancient Greece. The ancient Egyptian blue pigment boosts energy efficiency. Thousands of years ago, in ancient Egypt, a very special shade of beautiful blue was created. The Egyptians had used it in their depictions of gods and royalty because of its radiance and beauty. Scientists today found another use for it. Its ancient blue's new purpose now is to boost energy efficiency and generate clean, renewable power. Cuproriviate, also known as Egyptian blue, cuproriviate. It's a man-made pigment made up of calcium, strontium, and barium copper silicate. When it absorbs visible light, it then emits light in the near-infrared range. A study was conducted by a team of researchers at the Department of Energy's Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory, Berkeley Lab. That's where they measured the temperature of surfaces coated in Egyptian blue and related compounds, and it's a beautiful color. While they were exposed to, to sunlight, they discovered that the fluorescent blues can emit nearly 100% as many photons as they absorb. The energy efficiency of the emission process is up to 70%. The infrared photons carry less energy than visible photons. And this unique quality makes Egyptian blue an ideal candidate for the use in energy efficiency, boosting color choices on buildings. Roofs and walls painted with this color will be cooler and therefore save on electricity consumption and cost by reducing the energy use for air conditioning. Due to the qualities, the pigment can enable solar generation of electricity via windows. If the window is tinted with this blue, photovoltaic voltaic cells on the edges can convert the fluorescent near-infrared energy into electricity. That's amazing! Now, these findings contribute to the current knowledge about which colors are most effective for cooling rooftops and facades in sunny climates. While this still is most effective in conventional color choice for keeping a building cool by reflecting sunlight, but it is not the ideal choice aesthetically as it can get dirty easily and it's difficult to maintain. Because of that, there is a constant lookout for other viable color options. Previously, Berkeley Lab researchers found that fluorescent ruby-red pigments can be an effective alternative to white. Further, they found that fluorescent green and black color can be produced with uh, yellow and orange co-pigments, new findings that recently published in the Journal of Applied Physics. And now this insight on Egyptian blue adds to the menu of cooling color choices. Now, this work was led by Paul Burdahl of the Heat Island Group as part of the Cool Walls Project supported by the Electric Program Investment Charge Program for the California Energy Commission. Their research led to information that benefits our planet and people's pockets, of course, and because of it we know that reflective roofs and walls can cool buildings and cars and color is an important factor of this. On the human scale, using color to reflect light reduces the need for air conditioning benefiting our pockets, and mitigates the urban heat island effect, benefiting our environment. On a global scale, by reflecting the sun's rays back to the space, these cool materials also release less heat into the atmosphere, thus cooling our planet and offsetting the warming effects of substantial amounts of greenhouse gas emissions, benefiting our planet, of course. And this beautiful Egyptian blue, the powder making fingerprints glow will be used by crime scene investigators as well. Scientists discovered the Egyptian blue pigment has extraordinary properties, enabling us not only to reconstruct the past but also possibly to shape the technological future. The ancient Egyptian powder will now be used by crime scene investigators to detect fingerprints. The secret powder of the pharaohs emits infrared radiation when exposed to certain kinds of light. The ancient powders, usually uh, uh, unusual properties, can be very helpful to forensic experts and help solve crimes. When forensic experts 
arrive at a scene, they dust relative surfaces with a powder of contrasting color, which sticks to the fingerprints left there. And one of the problems is that fingerprints may be hard to pick out on a shiny or highly patterned surface. Egyptian blue can be used when conventional means are unsuccessful. The pigment is brushed on as usual, but the surface is then illuminated and photographed with a, with a modified camera and a filter sensitive to near-infrared rays. If fingerprints exist, they glow clearly in the resulting image. This is a beautiful image of the uh, fingerprints that you can see. And this, uh, a lot of this blue is what we call cobalt blue, what we use in the uh, pigments that we use for icon painting. And I do icons, and this is one of the most expensive pigments that you can buy, the cobalt blue. It's a beautiful color, but it's one of the most expensive. This is on uh, Collective Sparks and also on Ancient Pages. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Capota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.